Retro Maniacs, what's going on? You know who it is, it's Retro Collectibles here. Look at that, eh? You can't even get a liter here anymore. Well, you can, I've seen them in some grocery stores, but they try to pawn that off as a liter, eh? 750 mils, what a little wimpy. That's like for kids, side. Uh... Ooh, pardon me, guys. So, second day of my holidays, my vacation, I'm just relaxing. Nothing to unbox today. We got the Batmobile coming. When that comes, I'm going to unbox it. We got uh, uh, Dirty Mary Crazy Larry eventually coming from Justin. When that comes, I'm cracking that. We got to have a good look at that. Silver screen machines get unboxed if it's not one that I already have because I'm buying them to enjoy, right? We got something different and interesting today though. I'm going to talk to you guys and show you guys some customs, some good customs and some horrible customs and what to look for if you're going to buy custom Hot Wheels or custom any die cast off eBay or anywhere you go. I'm going to show you what to look for to show you how to not get burned. But first, Nadine, who's my good friend Dave's wife. Uh, she's not in the hobby, but she's a friend to the hobby. She helps out the hobby. She's supportive of the hobby because she, she recognizes the good things that come out of it. It's not just about collecting cars or collecting toys. It, it's friendships and all that. She sees all that. Well, she is in Amsterdam, and she just invited us to take a stroll through Smith's Toys. That's over in Amsterdam, Rotterdam. Um, so let's go have a look because you can only imagine, I can only imagine it's going to be a lot different over there than it is here. But let's go see what's on the pegs there compared to what's on the pegs here. Nadine here. I am in Holland, in Rotterdam, in the Netherlands, and we are going to a place that sells Hot Wheels, and I will take a bunch of pictures, and I guess Neil from Retro Collectibles is going to take over after that. So here we are at Smith's. Well, this is ridiculous, guys, but you're hearing my voice because I uploaded the video the first time. I got a copyright, it wasn't a strike, but uh, one of the songs playing in the background in the store, like somebody's nice enough to send us footage, and because there was music playing in the background, I got a copyright thing that said it wouldn't be shown in certain countries, but my channel wasn't affected. Look at those jaws, look at all that, guys. But anyway, this is why I had to remove the music I think it's really dumb. I mean, come on. For one song. But, I mean, the bots are smart. They caught the name of the song with the artist and everything. I can't remember what it was. It was a female artist. But they're pretty sharp. Within a second of me uploading the video, they were all over it. Because there's, you know, elevator music playing in the store. But it wasn't even by, like, an artist that I recognize or know. But... Ah, well, I'll just fix her up and re-upload it. Cool stuff, though. Over here, guys, in Canada, this is stuff that would be gone the minute it hit the pegs. Uh, crazy to see stuff, you know, collecting dust over there that would be just gone over here, but... Wow, they even had those uh, majorette, the black boxes, just piled up. That basically, if you're in Canada, you need a connection to get them. Thank you very much, Nadine, for taking the time to send us this footage. Like, she specifically got it to show you guys, which I thought was very cool, as you could hear her in the beginning. Um... I tried to not cut off her voice in the beginning when she was introducing the video. I hope that that worked. Um, this is in Smith's Toys in Amsterdam, Rotterdam. The Netherlands, basically. But 
huge toy store. From what I heard, they're like the uh, they're bigger than Toys R Us. And did you see that? Did you see a whole peg of Jaws trucks? Those hit Hamilton. They hit the one Toys R Us on the mountain. They haven't hit the one that I go to yet that I know of. Um, I've been checking. My friends have been checking. I managed to get one for my buddy Justin, who loves Jaws. I had to pull major friggin' strings to get it. Like, I got word the night before that the awesome people at House of Cars found me one and they were bringing it over. Like, the night before ODA, I got the word I was getting it. Let him know, because he wanted one terrible. I don't blame him. Um... Yeah, a whole peg of them over there. And of course, she's way over in Amsterdam where she's got to worry about her luggage and how much stuff she can take back. Like, if it was like an hour away where she was in her car or something, I'd say grab the whole peg of them and I'll e-transfer you right now. Or Dave, grab the whole peg. Either way, they would all be gone and our friends would have them. But she's way far away, so... If you ever go there though, check that out. Um, the first minute or so, I'm like, oh, that's a big selection of the cars. Wow, we don't get that many of those here. And then boom, all of a sudden it's Jaws and it's a bunch of awesome stuff. And they had those majorette black series, just boxes of them, like stuff that either doesn't come to Canada or if it comes to Canada, the second it hits the peg, it's gone. And it, they're warming the pegs over there. It's crazy. Oh, neon speeders. Like, pegs and pegs and pegs of those. Crazy. Crazy. I, I knew that there would be different stuff there, but I didn't think it'd just be pegs of gold just collecting dust. But, well, it just goes to show different demographics, different people, like, different stuff. Surprisingly, I remember when I went out to B.C., uh, to visit Diane's family, I was excited. I'm going to get to check Kijiji and find a bunch of gold. Back then, I was collecting wrestling memorabilia, more like WWF stuff. Get out to BC, check Kijiji. There's like no ads. Check Marketplace. I'm like, does nobody in British Columbia collect? Well, I couldn't believe it. Like, where I'm at, type in WWF, 100 ads will come up. There, Nothing. I did manage to find a couple books I wanted, like Dynamite Kids Autobiography, Pure Dynamite. I got that. Um, but yeah, there was, I guess people just don't collect out that way, or it didn't appear that they did by the marketplace ads. But anyway, let's go check out what I want to show you with these custom stuff. I'm going to go from a terrible custom to some good customs. But let's go have a look. We'll start off with the bad first. Actually, this is probably not even bad, horrible. This is probably the worst custom General Lee I've ever seen. They started out with a cheap casting, like these, you can get them cheap. They're all over the place, this company here, Muscle Car Collection. But if you look, it's not a great casting of it to begin with. There's no details, like the door handle's not even filled in. Look at the door gap and everything, like, just terrible. General Lee didn't come on Craigers either. Take a close look at the numbers. Like, they're blue. And look at the resolution, okay? Now, I'm going to show you the flag on top. This blows my mind. So when I was restoring my Mego General Lee, I tried everything to get a sticker for the top of it because the Mego General Lees back in 1980-81 didn't have decals, they had stickers, okay? Could not find a sticker for the life of me, had to go with decal. This meathead somehow found a sticker. Like that would have been perfect for my Mego General Lee but looked everywhere and could not find a sticker. That is a sticker that would have been perfect. Perfect color even. Like for Amigo, not for this, for Amigo. But the color doesn't even match on this. He probably used a vintage Amigo General Lee sticker to put on this. Probably not, but 
the same size and everything. Wow, like that would have worked perfect for my Mego, but just terrible, terrible, terrible. And you know the general lead, quickest way to tell an authentic looking one is the interior, right? If it's not tan interior, then... But yeah, that is an example of a horrible custom, guys. Now I'm going to show you some good work. With customs, curb appeal is everything. People pay attention to the minute details. So you want to start out with a good casting. This, for example, is a good custom. It's done in... It's supposed to be like a black chrome anodized finish. Kind of like the uh, chrome chase General Lee Ertle, or the Knight Rider Ertle did. They also did General Lee too, but it started out as a premium. Like this guy's not using main lines. He even has a little pictured backing, nice resolution. Even the license plate though, he, he, this guy paid attention to detail, okay? Very well done. Um, a lot of customs nowadays, you might know somebody that makes them or they might come from eBay. Uh, the General Lee was an example, I think that is an eBay custom. So you wanna go with somebody that is doing good work, look at the pictures up and down. Anybody can slap numbers on a cheap General Lee uh, casting, but is it gonna look good? Here's what I'm talking about when I talk about that curb appeal. This is a friend of mine that is killing it right now. I remember when he just started out. Uh, Chris Sabi. He just started out. He was showing us what he did. I thought he had some good talent. And he figured out how to do the cards. And he's just running with it. But it's not just a, you know, a mainline Mustang on a nice looking card to catch your eye. The paint is flawless. Like he... Uh, he really figured it out, how to get it done. Nice uh, real rider wheels. He paid attention to the details. This is very well done. A lot of people would, uh, would confuse that for a real one, you know? But that is attention to detail right there. And you gotta give credit to the guy that made it, Chris Sabby. Member of Ontario Diecast Addicts, his prices are extremely reasonable too. Just one last look. Good work. These are from Harriet Industries. These are from Chris Sabi Customs to Barbie. He does anything. You know what? I'm going to commission Chris to do one with a retro collectible themed, like with my logo on the card. But there is a horrible one. Horrible. Look at those 01 numbers. That's got to be the worst. But love to know where you got the sticker from the top. Damn it. Needed one. Checked everywhere for my Mego General Lee. Couldn't find it. That's pretty cool. I just got a message from my good buddy Rodney. He went to see Wu-Tang and Nas last night. And he got me like a numbered poster from them. And... Uh, the passes and stuff like that from the concert so that's awesome i'm a fan but yeah it goes back to buyer beware guys read reviews read reviews read reviews if you're buying stuff off of ebay uh feedback on ebay is very important i'm very limited to what i buy on ebay because collecting is expensive right i'm not going to pay three times the value of something when i can get it on marketplace not going to pay 60 bucks for a $20 item, but for some custom work, if you really want it bad, you got to turn to eBay, right? So just watch what you're buying. Watch what you're buying anywhere, you know? Um, I'm sure Glenn, when he, that General Lee, he probably didn't have a good look at it, or maybe he ordered it online, because if he's seen how it looked, he probably wouldn't have bought it, but... I'm going to ask him about it. I seen that in the basement and I said, holy frig, when I looked at it. Wow. But Chris Sabi, shout out to him. Uh, he's killing the customs lately. And his prices are very, very good for what you get. Um, using premium cars, the paint on them is awesome. And he's now able to do cars. So I think I'm going to get him to do like uh, retro collectibles 
gasser or something like that. I don't know, maybe a 69 uh, Charger, maybe a Monte Carlo. I don't know. You guys know what I like, so. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you go over to the Netherlands where she was at, Holland, check out that Smith's Toy Store. Holy freak, the pegs are loaded. And it's just collecting dust, stuff that's impossible to get here. So load up your suitcase and then hook up retro. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, happy hunting, guys.